get to know what that could be. Oh. The kind of girl that you could bow down for. Cause oh. when I look at you, I feel some bow. Tell me. Oh. That you're the kind of guy that bow. should make a move on. Oh. And if I don't let you bow. know, then I'm gonna be forced. Oh. I could be wrong, but bow. I feel like something could be falling on. You know I see. Bow. Bow. There ain't no other for me, it's only you I wanna be fine, I wanna be Do y'all like to work and take breaks in between like a 15 minute, a 30, another 15? Or do you like to work straight through and just take your big break, make it like 45 minutes or something like that? I don't know. For me, um, they don't be on our top like that, certain supervisors. I like to take breaks. As we have not done a data point conversation at my job in so long, that is a good thing. That means that there's a lot of, not a lot of nonsense going on, period, okay? But the waist is looking snatched today, so that's always a reason to bring out the camera. Always a reason. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Honestly, it has been a breezy past couple days, but I will say this, when the weather gets nice, there is a surge on cold fit. So you have to be careful, still wear your mask. I know they're lifting those mandatory masks, but wear your mask. For your own protection, wear your mask. Cause they don't know what they are talking about. They don't know what's going on. I really do be stretching the time out here. This bra is behaving. Y'all know normally I be having bra issues. But I gotta get me another bra like this because it got thick straps. Y'all know I stay straight for real. <laughs> but it got thick straps. Um, yeah. And they're sitting, sitting, sitting. So yeah, the girls are behaving today. The girls are growing. <laughs> Let me stop being fresh. But yeah. Hey y'all, so I just woke up from my nap and I'm about to make me something to eat because I really haven't eaten since lunchtime when I came in. I'm lying. I did have a yogurt, um, but I didn't have anything substantial. And lately that's been my story, oddly. Um, but <laughs> I got to thinking about a number of things. So let's just clean it out real quick. I'm really hungry, but I got a doctor's appointment tomorrow, so I don't want nothing to be wrong. So I'm gonna watch everything that I intake, child. Um, yeah, so I'm at work, and there's a couple guys that be showing their interest, you know, looking at me, smiling, grinning, 
you know, I had a few eggs for my phone number, all kinds of stuff, right? So I was thinking to myself, like, I'm good. Like, because some of these men are, they're married, you know, to each his own. You do what you got to do. But y'all remember my married story. Like, I really don't mess with married men. Like, I can't. I personally, I can't. You know what I mean? Um, I have been in situations that has pulled me in, you know, like um, accidentally or perhaps I found out later down the line or maybe I had to like slowly cut it off because, you know, they can get aggressive at some point. Like they really want you. They, they, they lay it on thick. <clears throat> but anyway, so I was thinking to myself, this is me just thinking out loud when I talk to y'all, but I'm thinking to myself, I don't even want a man with a whole bunch of kids. And I know y'all going to be like, girl, what you mean? Women got kids and all this kind of stuff. Okay. I'm about to tell you exactly what I mean. When it's with men and you meet these guys and they got a 10 year old, an eight and a half year old, a five year old, a two year old, and they got a baby on the way, that's that that's that's automatic red flags. It's not, oh, that, that nigga got kids. No, that nigga is out here fucking <laughs> raw dogging and he can he's careless. With how many kids he placed on this earth. Um, they almost damn near stair step kids. Like, no, no, I don't need a nigga with a whole bunch of babies. Like, and they're not mine. I can't even I can't even be in a position where I can be like, damn, I'ma give you your first kid that you ain't had in a while. I know I can't give you your first kid, but I can give you your first kid that you ain't had in a while. No. It becomes a bit much. So, <laughs> um, yeah, when men tell me they're married, no, I'm good. When they tell me they got a whole bunch of kids, I'm damn sure good. And now the new thing is, it's not new thing, because me being plus size, they equal that in their mind as maturity. Oh, she, you know, growing up as a kid, oh, she thick. You know, she got thrust, she got butt, she got booty. She grown. You know, grown niggas have been trying to talk to me since I was a baby. I turned them grown niggas down since I was a kid. Like, know the lines. Know when you're out of your league. You know, as far as you getting whatever the fuck you want, whenever the fuck you want it. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Yeah, I'm good. It's a whole bunch of men that is in their late 40s, 50s, trying to get at me. But when I was a young girl, I would say... They was in their late 40s and 50s trying to talk to me when I was like 13, 14. And I thought it was so weird. And I would play the shit out of them. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm good. But, no. At this point, I don't want a man that's 100 years old. I don't want a man that's married. I don't want a man that's really... Now, I can see divorce. Divorce, you got a new start. At least you decided to cut that shit off or she decided to cut that shit off. But being divorced is a red flag because black families don't like to, you know, just call it ties. Like, traditional black families. Like, you know what I mean? So, now that's a red flag. I'm curious. What did you do? Or... <laughs> child but the baby thing i'm good i every dude i ever met got kids i had a man had two kids on me them little cheating that you forgive oh I, yeah we went through stuff in the beginning da, 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 da. sometimes they come out with babies <laughs> he bring this baby around when i say I looked at their baby like it was a Martian. And any other time you got that maternal instinct, I had it after a while. But, like, it really was a situation where me and him was in love. I forgave. We had a break and all that dumb bullshit. And now it's a baby here. Like, and I got to I gotta respect the fact that this is a child. And when the child cries, I may have to pick this baby up. I may have to give this baby milk. I may have to take care of this baby. Child, I was... That, that motherly figure whenever his mother dropped him off. And and men so smooth, I never seen the mother's face. Never. And I mean she would drop the baby off at the door. We would pick the baby up. Still never seen this girl face. Niggas is niggas is sneaky. So child yes. 
I, I am I can say, oh, I want a man that's a millionaire. That may be unrealistic. I can say, oh, I may want a man that got a Ferrari that I can't fuck fit in. <laughs> but say if I, you know, if I was this type of girl, oh, I want a man that's a millionaire. He got to drive a, a, a zillion dollar car. And I want him to be boiling. And I want him to buy me shoes every other day. And I want a bird And I want this. And I want that. I can say that. But that may not be realistic. It may be very uh, shallow and superficial and all that. But when I say I don't want a man with a thousand kids and also I don't want a man that has been divorced and I don't want a man that is old as, you know, dirt, child, please. Like, yeah, that's my list. And you can fight me if you got an issue. You know you know what I mean? Uh-uh, no, no. How about this? You get an old head, his child... But she like my age. That's annoying too. We sitting there, we keep keying me and her bonding like a motherfucker. We bonding more than I bond with that nigga. No, I don't want an old man. I don't want a man with a whole bunch of kids. And that's T on T. But let me go ahead and make my meal. So I am, like I said, making me something to eat and I wanted one of those like rice bowls that they put inside of a pineapple because I cut up some pineapples and I had that idea. I had a fresh pineapple. I cut it up. I was eating a, <laughs> I was eating a few pieces, but I had the shell of it and I had a couple, um, like a lot of juice. So I'm going to try to incorporate a meal with, <clears throat> I'm missing a part. It's not rice. I have quinoa and it was a half a bag of rice. So it's quinoa mixed with rice. And I have seafood and fish and shrimp and broccoli. So I'm gonna try to make something fun. Normally I do a Sunday dinner and this is gonna be considered my Sunday dinner even though it's super late, but I have no intentions on going to sleep right away. So um, yeah, so I wanted to make something good and that pineapple was super good. It wasn't too sweet, but it was sweet. I love it. But when you eat a lot of it, it just hurts your mouth a little bit. So I'm going to back this off with this. Waiting for her to come in because I really want to make sure I'm okay. Uh, So I am back from my doctor's appointment. Everything, I wouldn't say everything is perfectly fine, but I'm not like ill or anything like that. But it is some things that needs to be taken care of. So I have some follow-up appointments that I need to set. And I'm trying to be mature and definitely follow up and stuff. So yeah. All in all, she mentioned to add more fiber to my diet. If y'all remember my last conversation, if y'all actually be paying attention. So, I did get Popeyes. But, you know, when I normally eat, I don't always eat stuff like this. Um, I just got a shrimp biscuit. <laughs> Y'all gotta get ranch. If y'all don't eat ranch, start wrong with you. Start wrong with you. Like real red. Ranch go on everything is so delicious. So they had these new desserts. I just wanted to try it. Mm -hmm. 
again. They pack so much sugar on there for three little things. But they're called baguettes. Look at all that sugar that they put on there. Why? The whole bag is filled with sugar. That's too much. They could have ran it there. So, and then just put the little baguettes in there. Like, I'm going to say that sugar. Watch. That's too much sugar to be wasting. Oh my god. That's why they that's why the food is so damn fattening. It's too good to be to not be fattening. Okay. I'm gonna put the other two to the side, but this is really good. But it said they have a chocolate one, but the chocolate one is too too sweet, I guess, too intense. That's what one of the girls said. But she said these by itself is just good. They are. Oh my god. So I wanted to show y'all about my new favorite Netflix. Alright, so I'm I am tearing this food up. Ignore all of these crumbs and everything. But the the movie or the series that I have been obsessed with since yesterday. I'ma tell you about the first one, I'm gonna tell you about a couple of this. So if you got Netflix, you got Fire Stick or whatever, get Netflix. This show is called, excuse me, this show that I'm obsessed with right now is called The Smart Money Woman. And it basically kind of tells you about financial literacy, how women tend to spend a lot of money on things that they don't need. Now, these ladies are already wealthy, so their deficit and their, you know, their, you know, own spending and shit like that. Is not the same as ours. So they're a type of broke, maybe a different type of broke from us. So she's the main character, which is gorgeous. I swear I've seen her somewhere else doing some modeling or something. Probably something on Instagram that I saw, but I can't remember. But <laughs> let me rewind a little bit. She's buying a dress that she don't need. You can tell she already got a bond in his closet. No, 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 you need to go there more nine yards. What? What? Nine nails. The hair, nails, the Okay, wait. First, I play that. I have time for hair and nails. Second, I can't. Hello, Tracy. Hey, please. I need to meet that, my friend. I'm Nikki. Remember, Abby? Yes, there. Thank you. And bring your new person. All right, see you. Bye. Call your office. All right, y'all. So a little bit of tea about the show without spilling too much. It's a group of friends, a group of black girls. They're super wealthy. They're from Africa. They have this beautiful, heavy accent. But it's not like overdone so where you're not going to understand what they're saying. Um, it definitely kind of goes in and out, but it doesn't really show you much of the African culture. But it's another show that I want to tell you about that enhances the African culture and how they do it. And how they're really just like us, you know, stylish, fabulous. Like we really get in our minds that Africa is such a destituted place that and they're without and they don't have and blah 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 which it probably is areas where people are less fortunate but there is areas everywhere where people are less fortunate even in the United States <laughs> but they still have glamorous lifestyles too they still have high paying jobs women are still pioneering period all over the world we are like basically the the richest you know human species period out of men you have men that's wealthy but women is like really pioneering out here so anyway the show is just based on these women um their jobs but how they have this thing for just throwing out money and they have no idea why their lives is in shambles what's going on why their pockets is like just always not where they want it to be and little shit like this this particular episode i'm not gonna tell you everything about the show but this particular episode is where she was asked out on a date and she just called her girlfriend just to say i was asked out on a date by a guy that you know has been lurking around for a while and 
you know, he'd been showing interest, you know, and she was kind of excited about it. She thought it was pretty cool. She said, oh, well, we got to buy you a dress. They had already been through the channels of saying, like, we're not about to spend all this money all the time. Like, these girls, they're rich. They have more than what they need. And rich in terms of having an abundance of gowns, purses, pocketbooks, you name it. Just like myself. Like, I might not be you know, filthy rich, but I can look the part. And they basically said that black women, or not, and it's just not black women, people that's in today's culture, you know, the worldly culture, and really tune in, we really tend to overspend, spend, spend, spend. And we, we, we tend to look richer than what our pockets really is. So her other girlfriend, the one that's convincing her, like, you need to get your nails done, you need to get your feet done all this she like girl what like mind you the guy just asked her on a date i'm pretty sure her nails was on fleek her feet was on fleek when he was in her face but now they want her to do the most like do a whole 360 a new color a polish change acrylics tips diamonds on the <laughs> all this bullshit they've been buying shit all day she like listen i'm not supposed to be doing this like i came a long fucking way and she still got a huge debt so little pockets they add like real financial literacy you know terms and definitions and stuff like that and it's a series and i think every black girl should watch this every black girl so yeah that's my latest obsession it's called the smart money woman like y'all got to watch this show so that's the show that i was telling y'all about the smart money woman and y'all know, I never thought I would ever, but I finished watching the whole entire ever Girlfriends. <laughs> I watched all of it. But young and young, famous and African, this is also like a kind of loving hip hop of Africa. Child is amazing. You get to see the richest, you know, artists over there. The fashions, when they get to talking is amazing. Now their selection of wigs, on Young Famous Africa, African or whatever. I didn't like the selection of wigs and you'll get into it once you watch it, child. It's a, it's a kiki, it is a kiki. But their fashions is so like out there, it's so beautiful. I love to see them dress up, ugh. So, and this is another show, uh, Bad Vegan, it's good. It's about a lot of shit, a whole, fraudulent relationship that kind of just led to some craziness i really recommend that y'all watch that and this is the one that i really wanted to show y'all and after this this is it this is called inventing anna if you have not watched this you are truly missing out it's very similar to bad vegan um as far as the scandal and the fraud and a whole bunch of money that just was robbed out of people's hands you have to really watch inventing anna it will really teach you a lot about how women are so determined to just be that it girl to be rich and live high just a high class lifestyle so i would say really this is my top favorite this is number one Bad Vegan is number three. This is number two for me. I love this show. I can't wait for them to post another episode. And this is my new favorite, so I ain't going to read it yet. But yeah, y'all got to watch Inventing Anna. And y'all have to watch the rest, period. <laughs> Oh, well, at this one session, she's going to have a hectic day today. Mm -hmm. I need to call her later. Mm -hmm. But Lara promised that she would come and give us more support. Okay. So, us? <laughs> See, oh. no, no. This is our date. <laughs> In fact, please. I need to pour some champagne to come on it. Like what? Look at all them bags. 
And but they all fabulous though. Every last one of them. Get into it. So we are very serious about budgeting and taking control of their life. And you. I thought you were getting a loan to grow your business. I've been sitting down there rocking my brain trying to figure out how to reorganize your finances, but apparently you're not taking it serious. And and see, <laughs> it's really not this serious. It's just a little bit of shopping. A little bit. Uh, like they called a makeup artist just to do her face that she has to pay. Do you know what this could do for your business, Tammy? How much you spent on these shoes, do you know what it can do for your business? See, let me tell you. If you're not serious, if you're not taking reorganizing your business seriously, then you need to let me know so I can stop wasting my time. Very busy, you know. What is wrong with you guys? <clears throat> Look, I just came here because I said I want you. Zuri, good luck with all of this. Uh, period. Like, it's stupid. Sometimes it's your friend, sometimes it's an event, other times you set unsustainable goals without acknowledging the money habits that come naturally to us. Yeah, so that's kind of the gist of it. It's just spending and all that shit. But it's like kind of low, not low key, high key. It's the same thing with all women. For me, when she said, like, you know, when you spend it, are you spending to go to an event? Or is it vacation? Is it this? Is it that? It's a lot of shit. It's a lot. Like, I've been doing a lot of different shit, you know, trying to save, but then still trying to have fun. Then you start, you know, vlogging and you want to show people that you're getting out, you know, expressing, you know, that you should enjoy your life and blah, blah, blah. But in doing so, sometimes it requires you to spend some money. And it's like, damn, it's hard to, like, really evaluate what you're doing wrong. And at times, it's so much that we are doing wrong. We could get so far in life if we be more frugal with what's necessary, you know, and what's not. A lot of people are out here struggling and not saying anything and worried about their finances like to the point where they can't sleep they're stressed out they're irritable they're getting into it with people you know they they're easily triggered by certain things but still still shelling out all of this cash for drinks at the bar restaurants all kinds of shit like that takeout shit like that that's why I really i try not to do takeout this is the most I did take out within the past seven days. I did take out twice. And I kind of wish that I didn't even do that because that can save money. It can just save money. So, I don't know. I recommend you watch the show, get into it, see what's really good because a lot, another little tea, it's not always you that's spending the money. Sometimes it's your husband. It's your boyfriend, you know, they they make they may get used to a lifestyle on your accord. You know, if you that friend that's always picking up the check and all of that, and somehow you find yourself paying for your food and nears or your drinks and nears, that's an expense. If you can say no to people, you know what I mean? That's good. And all that shared account stuff, you know, just because you got a spouse, just because you got somebody, that don't, shoot, that don't mean we got to have shared accounts. One it child, it's a situation on here where this woman is like watching her money leave her account so fast and so much and so often and she can't figure out what's going on like when she confront this person like what are you doing with my money blah 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 he's saying that he's doing this day and the third that man just partying on her fucking money on god like he partying on her money so it's like 
you really got to sit down and think about it like, is this shit worth it? Where can I save? Where can I cut, you know, certain situations off? Because half of the time, like, we don't invest in the right stuff. We have all of this stuff that has no value. Like, if you buying them expensive bags, you can turn your bags in. You know, when times get hard, you can resell them bags and make money, like Chanel bags, Louis Vuitton, all them nice high-end stuff, Fendi, blah, blah, blah. You can really make that money back. But if you just buying a whole bunch of shit from Fashion Over every time you turn around, you buying all types of hair every time you turn around. Like, y'all see, late. if you know me, know me, I used to switch my hair out all the time all the time i used to switch that shit out like crazy now it's maybe every three months every you know three months i'll get a new unit i'll install a new new situation or i'll go natural or something like that but to keep buying wigs just to have a switch up i can switch up i can crimp i can curl i get something that i can maintain that's just something small but as far as like real shit like you can't be ordering out all the time you know what i mean you can't be vacation vacationing all the time taking off of work all the time because that shit adds up unless your money and your you know your assets is just like nice but once the liabilities get in there and you find yourself just tap the fuck out with with no way of having that money back in your account or having it doubled or tripled later you gotta tuck some money away you have to have a rainy day fun and it's like i really appreciate the fact that is black women trying to teach other black women financial literacy and that's on period and it's like it also teach you to never rely on a man for income and money because men do what they do with the cheating and playing you every five fucking minutes that you don't if they if he treating you and taking care of your lifestyle so much and you done develop a habit of spending and buying and doing all this shit by the time y'all break it off because it's gonna happen then what you know what i mean and that same shit happened to me on a couple of occasions with a couple of different relationships I was taken care of and then all of a sudden the relationship didn't work out that person disappeared I was addicted to that lifestyle and hanging out eating out shopping doing all this bullshit and then it wasn't a necessarily we broke up he could lose his job he could stop working he could quit his shit you know what I mean he can decide that he just don't want to give it to you and now you just like like, I'm not coming to a grown man for money to buy toiletries and personals and, and anything to feed myself. I'm not doing that. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, I already experienced the shitty end of the stick with it. And with that, still, you're spending, 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 and you don't have any money saved up for a rainy day because you just thinking that that love is going to last always. Even if you're married, sis. I've learned through family and friends and my situation that I just told you about, have a rainy day fund. Have a rainy day fund. If it's only $20 that you can put up every week or every two weeks on your paycheck, so the fuck be it. If you get to the point where you can put a little more in there, so the fuck be it. But try not to touch it. And if you do need to touch it, it better be a goddamn emergency. Child, an emergency did come up <laughs> with me recently, and I had to tap into that damn emergency fund, you know, last week. And I'm like, damn, what the fuck I'm going to do? Oh, damn, I got some money. You know what I mean? And before you know it, things will work out. The term pay yourself first makes a whole lot of sense. You know, you get your paycheck, have them take something out and put it in an account that you don't touch, period. Accountant died. And a girl that worked for him called my lawyer and said, we have a problem. She had found on the floor all my tax forms for seven years signed and with the checks stapled to them. So I'm thinking, I done signed and I done stapled the checks. Well, they were cashing the checks, keeping the money, and not turning in the tax form. You didn't know who the check was being made out to? Oh, to the government. So how did they cash it? Well, they didn't cash it. They took the money out of the account that matched the exact. 
Cause uh, I wasn't watching it. So like you could just see uh, hundred thousand, six hundred thousand. Yeah, you looking at deducted. Yeah. So I'm thinking it's the check. Little did I know, it was some people taking the money out for seven years. For seven years. How much money did that? I ended up owing twenty two million. Child, and that right there is why it's important for you to learn money. Learn money. Learn how to do shit properly. You girls out there, y'all want to be millionaires. And you're going to be. You're going to be a millionaire. But it's important to pay attention to these gems that these celebrities are dropping. These gems that these inspirational people are dropping. It's not by coincidence. This is God telling you what's going on. This is God showing you. Showing you in your face, your followings, these people that you like to watch myself and you peeping out little shit. And I'm showing you little shit like this that I'm noticing that I'm intrigued by that scares me a little bit. And I'm letting y'all know the tea. It's not by coincidence. Watch your money. Save your money. Get the right people on your team because family members can steal from you. All kinds of shit. I don't even need to break it all the way down. But watch those shows that I told y'all to watch. It would be a lesson, a free lesson. All you got to do is pay for the, the Netflix. You see my neck. I'm so serious when it gets like... <laughs> ah, but I'm about to take a nap. I don't know how you girls do it, child. I done lifted up the whole wig. I, I got my hair red. <laughs> but I wound up lifting up the whole thing, taking it out the week of the wall. I'm about to take a whole nip, but do what I say. Watch them shows. Watch it from beginning to end. It's worth it. Have your kids watch it. Everything. These people out here is scandalous. Sometimes they trick us into this greed, you know, society and how they do things with the with the value of a dollar or whatever. They try to they try to get you to spend, 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 and they steal you and rob you blind. At the end of the day, they trying to see you down. Watch those shows, read those books, watch them movies, watch them documentaries. I'm telling you, it's gems and that shit. But I love y'all. Peace. And until next time. Mm -hmm.